If you've got a little one home, how often are they reaching for your digital camera or even your smartphone to take a picture? How about all the time? <laughs> Ever think of getting them their own digital camera? Our gadget guy is here with some ideas. And it won't break the bank. No, so. you, you're definitely going to be able to get it for them, and your kids are going to love it. As you Good. said, they reach mm. for it all the time. I actually still remember getting my first Fisher Price point and shoot as a kid back in the early 80s. It was great fun running around, mm -hmm. snapping those photos. <laughs> Only then, all you got was 12 or 24 pictures, mm -hmm. and they're eaten up pretty quickly. And I remember, of course, there was that cost to develop, so right. I quickly was not able to take any more pictures. But nowadays, kids, of course, have their own cheap digital cameras. And if the shots don't turn out just right, mm -hmm. all you have to do is hit the delete key. Some kids are real shutterbugs. Jesse, smart. So when Consumer Reports wanted to check out cameras made specifically for kids, they brought in pint-sized experts. Because it's just a fun thing to do, like I can look back on everything. I feel as if I just see it, I don't think I capture the moment. Consumer Reports gave 30 fun-loving photographers five made-for-kids cameras to try out. They included ones from Fisher-Price, Crayola, and Lego. They cost between $35 and $60. For comparison, testers had the kids use a regular camera as well. Then things got a bit more scientific in the lab. Testers evaluated battery life, which turned out to be pretty good on all the cameras. They also calculated shutter delay, and that's how much time you need to wait between pictures. Most had short delays, and testers also assessed picture quality. All the kids' cameras were two to three megapixels, and they used plastic lenses instead of glass, so the picture quality wasn't good, but that's not a top priority for kids anyway. Most of the tiny testers thought the cameras were easy to use. The button's right on top. This button is really easy. You just press it and then it takes the picture. Some have special features, like graphics you can add to photos on this $50 one from Disney. The $60 LEGO camera lets you build onto it for added fun. There was no clear winner because each of the cameras had at least a few fans. But this $40 VTech Kitty Zoom camera did produce slightly better photos. And it also has games and built-in graphics that you can add to the pictures. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. And just like other digital cameras, the ones for kids, of course, can be hooked up to a computer to edit, print, and share. And the recommended age for these is about age three and up, although by five or six, they'll mm -hmm. most likely not need that drop protection because right. they hopefully can hold on to it a little bit more. So kind of a lower end digital camera will do the trick at that age. And while taking pictures doesn't seem like much for us adults, the memories kids create with their cameras does last a lifetime. And of course, frees up your camera mm -hmm. to use mm -hmm. on your own. It's always a good thing. That's right. Thank you. You're Thanks, welcome. Steve.